Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to see how we can add an input box in our Looker dashboard and reflect data based on your selection in the dashboard. So for example, if I just want to see data for India in this graph and this chart, then I can put India over here and then I can click anywhere on the blank page of this data studio and this data studio or Looker will show only the data for India in all of the graphs and charts. So this input box control helps you to get input from user for filter and parameters. Basically input box let you enter a value and when it is used as a filter then you can configure how the control matches the user's input. For example here this country name India which I have given as a user matches with the country name for this chart as well as this graph. Now one of the major point that is needed to be noted over here is that the input box can take a categorical parameter as well as numerical parameters from the data source for the filtration purpose. But most often we provide categorical parameter in our input box so that the user can select from a list of values for their filtration purpose. So let's go and create an input box from scratch on this dashboard. So in my previous video, I have already created this chart as well as this graph and this scorecard, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to delete this input box and I'm going to create this input box from scratch. So first of all, you need to go and click on edit so that you can edit the report and then you have to select the toolbar over here and click on add a control then on this third option you have this input box you have to select this and once you select this then you can go anywhere on the page and click that so by default the looker will take a categorical variable from your data source as a input box filtration but if you want to change it then you can come over here in the control field and select any of the categorical variable as well as the numerical variable for your input box filtration. For us, we will select country name over here. Then when you have selected the country name, the first option under this setup is data source. This is the section where you select that your data on which you want to add this filtration. Then we have already discussed about the control field. Now the next option is this search type. It will allow you to select how do you want to search the values in your list. Suppose if you want to put contains then you only need to give certain substrings of the country name and then you will be able to select all of those country names which contain those specific substrings. Now the first option that we had was equal to. So this equal to basically matches the data completely. So if you are putting India over here, then you have to make sure that if India is in uppercase or in lowercase, then you have to write the complete country name so that the matching criteria can be fulfilled and your data can get filtered. Now if you select starts with, then you will be able to put any of the value for example if I'm putting I n then it will filter out all the data in your dashboard for the countries which starts with I n so let's go and see if I click on view then you will see that you are not getting anything from I n because in your data set it starts with I right so then you will be able to see Indonesia Iceland and India now if I select I and a small n and still click anywhere in this dashboard you will be able to see Indonesia and India Iceland has been removed right because these two country are started with I N now the next option that we have the search type is regrex if you want to put a regex then you can use this and if you want to put in then you will be able to put n number of values in the country name separated by a comma and your Looker or Google Data Studio dashboard will filter out only for those countries. Now if you want to put any filtration 
or any default value in your control field or in your input box then you can use this and the value has to be separated by comma and you will see that all of these graph and charts are reflecting data only for the default value so whenever a user will open your dashboard they will be able to see this data or this graphs only for these two country in order to see all the country's data they have to remove this and click anywhere on the dashboard then this dashboard will reflect the data for all the countries now if we go back then the another section within this input box is the style section within this style section the first option that we have is a control and within control we have a drop down so when you select this drop down it displays the control as a drop down box and when you select this fixed size then it displays the control as a fixed size box next option that we have is input box audio width when it is checked the entry fields width automatically sizes to fit the available space on your screen to set the entry fields with manually you have to uncheck it and then you will be able to set the entry fields with manually based on your desired width in the character so let's check this one so that the field width will adjust automatically based on our screen size the next option that we have is the label position it sets the appearance of your control label either on the top on the left hidden the label will be hidden or the legacy it's on the top left hand side so by default let's select top okay the next option that we have over here is text if you want to change the font color you can use it from here you want to change the font size you can select it from here okay if you want to change the font size of the label you can select it from here and if you want to change the background and border of your input box then you can change the background from here uh, let's select this background now if you want to set the border status if you want to set the border radius you can select it, select it from here this is the opacity if you want to select the opacity you can select or update the opacity of your background from here this is the border color if you want to change the border color you can change it from here if you want to change the border size or weight of the border you can change it from here and the border style you can change it from here now if i go and click on view then you will be able to see that whatever changes we have applied in the edit mode has been reflecting here so if i select a particular country andorra then you will see that the entire dashboard is only reflecting data for andorra so this is how basically you add and work with input box in google data studio or looker dashboard happy learning and see you in the next video